It's no secret that medical students have to spend countless hours studying, learning about the human body and all the possible ways in which it can malfunction. For most people, that study looks like this. A book, some notes, and a good deal of coffee. And if you like studying like this, there's nothing wrong with that. But at least for me, I really noticed an improvement in both learning and enjoyment when I started implementing some other tools into my study method. So what I want to do in this video is share those tools with you, show you how you can access all of them in a single place, and also explain a few creative ways to complement them with evidence-based learning techniques so that you can get the most out of your study. All right, so as you can tell by the title of this video, the platform we're using is Lecturio. You can access this from whatever device you have as long as you got an internet connection. And as you can see here, when you first enter the platform, there's a lot of stuff going on, right? But don't worry about that just yet. Let's just pretend that it's a Tuesday afternoon. You just came home from med school and you need to learn about, I don't know, the anatomy of the scapula. Well, in that case, all you need to do is go up here to the search bar and type scapula. As you can see here, the platform offers you several ways to approach the topic. The most traditional one would be the concept pages. Just like with the classical books, these have great explanations along with incredible images and supporting figures. But contrary to physical books, you can easily copy these images and tables and place them straight into your notes or flashcards. In a subject such as anatomy, this can be a game changer as it allows you to focus on the structures directly and make your note taking process a whole lot more efficient. However, if you prefer something more interactive, you can always check the video lessons. And these are great. For starters, they are way shorter than your typical class, as they were designed specifically to pack everything you need to know in the least amount of time possible. On top of that, you have all the features that typical classes usually lack. You can play and pause the wheel, you can change the speed, you can take notes, use captions in several different languages, and even download the slides for your personal use. Also, as you can see here, some of these lessons have additional features, like an interactive 3D model to help you explore structures from a wide variety of angles. Because yes, sometimes things don't make sense until you turn them around. Now, another option you have are the courses. As the name implies, these are a group of related video lessons packed together. If you're just beginning to learn a topic and you have a little bit of time, these are hands down one of the best ways to study as they ground the information you're trying to learn. So for example, instead of just learning about the scapula, this course would teach you about all the other important bones in the upper limbs. And you can find courses about almost anything. There are some big broad ones like this one about nephrology, but there's also more specific ones that focus on individual syndromes like this one about the nephrotic syndrome or this one about the immunodeficiency syndromes. Some of my personal favorites are the ones about physical examination. They are amazing and I wish I could have used them when I was in medical school. Okay, so all those tools are awesome, but as you probably know, the real key behind learning is not about what you use, it's about how you use it. And unfortunately, science has shown that many students tend to rely on very passive study techniques that merely enhance familiarity and confidence. And while this may create a sense of learning, it often fails to actually improve long-term retention and performance, which is ultimately our goal, isn't it? So these are where the more active techniques come into play. And as you'll see in a second, all of them actually do the same thing. They make the brain work harder. Because just like with our muscles, our minds really only develop when we challenge ourselves. And that's precisely why these techniques are often referred to as desirable difficulties. So how can you apply desirable difficulties to your study method? Well, one way is by simply trying to solve a problem with the information you just learned. The way people did this back in the day was by flipping to the end of the chapter and going through a few review questions. Nowadays, Lecturio does this automatically for you. After finishing a lesson, a pop-up window will appear with a series of quizzes for you to test yourself and see if you really learned or not. If you like this idea, you can access hundreds of tailored quizzes by simply searching the topic you want to learn and clicking on the respective tab. Oh, and you should probably note that these quizzes have a built-in spaced repetition algorithm, which means that they not only help you to learn the topic now, but they also help in making sure you retain the information for longer. Another desirable difficulty you can try is something scientists like to call free recall. And the protocol is quite simple. After studying a topic without any additional help, try to remember everything you learned and write it down. That's it. That's the whole protocol. Apparently, the mere act of trying to remember strengthens neural connections. 
and it shows, as this has been proven to be up to two times more effective at improving long-term retention and performance compared to the typical note-taking and review system that most people use. And again, here Lecturio systematizes the process for you. After going through the post-lesson quizzes, you'll see a note-taking window pop up. This is your chance to do the free recall protocol. Oh, and in case you're wondering, you can access all of the notes you take by searching them in the left side menu on the main page. All right, and finally, we have what for me is arguably the best way to study a topic, the question bank. What can I say? Questions are awesome. They actively force your mind to organize your thoughts and think. They reveal many of the learning blind spots you have. They teach you not only what you need to know, but also how you'll be asked about it. And if you get in the habit of doing them early on in your career, you'll see that later down the line, preparing for a residence exam will be a piece of cake. Now, in Lecturio, you can use practice questions in several different ways. The easiest one in day-to-day -day studies by simply going to the upper part of a concept page and clicking start. That will take you straight to a selection of practice questions that are tailored to the topic you're currently learning. But if you wanna test yourself on more than one subject, because let's say you're at the end of a rotation or you're preparing for the final exam of a subject or you're preparing for a residence exam, then you can instead use the question bank button in the main page. There you can select the difficulty, the subject, and the systems you want to get tested on. Oh, and you can also select the type of exam you want to receive questions from, because yes, the tour has like different banks for different purposes. Some are preclinical, other are clinical, some in Spanish, some in English, some help for the preparation of one specific exam in one country, other for others. So make sure to use the one that fits your needs better. Now, one pro tip I have for you are the QBank walkthrough video lessons. Many people don't know about them, but they are incredible. They basically take a practice question and as the name implies, they walk you through the rationale you'd have when answering it. In my opinion, this is amazing because it is one of the few tools out there that actually teach you one of the most important skills a doctor can have, reasoning. So yeah, definitely give them a try. All right, and finally, there are the learning paths. And these are basically all-in-one study plans for standardized exams. They contain a daily plan with a mix of videos, concept pages, quizzes, and practice questions that reflect the most important topics for a given test. They can be really useful because they help in reducing planning time and they also give you a structure to follow every day, something which many people appreciate because it makes the whole process a little bit more manageable. You should also probably know that you can create your personalized study plans for normal day-to-day -day med school by adding courses to the study planner. By doing this, the platform will automatically tell you how much you need to study every day to stay on top of your goals. And I truly encourage you to try this out because you quickly realize doing this that a small consistent study is actually really manageable and beats the heck out of cramming the last day before an exam. All right, and there you have it, tons of different tools and methods to make the most out of your study. If you wanna learn more, make sure to check out the link in the description. Thanks for your time and I'll see you in the next one.